geezer, geezer. Uh, I just want great evening for your wife. This whole thing is just really awesome. I've been a chow chow. I've had chow chow since I was four years old. Love dogs. But, but uh, you know, I just want to get into the, the Sabbath stuff. I've been a fan my whole life. One of the things I wanted to ask you was from when you guys were in the band Earth and you started out as a jazz band. The one thing that I've always has fascinated me is how do you go from like a jazz band that plays that to 1969 to that dark of a of a type of music? How do you go from that? Like, we weren't really a jazz band. We were sort of into 12 bar blues mainly. Oh, more and blues and jazz. Yeah, more okay, blues yeah. and blues jazz. Band, yeah. But Bill, Bill Ward was, um, he used to love drummers like Gene Krupa and Louis Belson and oh, Buddy okay. Rich. So he was like really into swing stuff. Oh, Buddy Rich was. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tony used to, he learned um, a lot from Joe Pass and oh, okay. uh, Django Reinhardt. So we all had sort of jazz, jazz influences. More jazz. Yeah, yeah. And um, we went, there was a lot, we were mainly a blues band at the time, and then there was yeah, tons yeah. of blues bands around. And that, okay. Time. So to get sort of uh, different from everybody else, yeah, yeah. we well, had that, to write our own Well, stuff. that's what I've always wondered is you had bands like, you know, Hendrix was around, The Doors, yeah. and then all of a sudden you guys come around and it's this dark, and it must have been in that age, in 70, it must have been people were blown away because. They've never seen. It was dark. I mean, it's dark. Yeah, it's different because yeah. uh, I mean, we were all brought up in Aston, which is quite a rough place to come from. And oh, um, okay. Birmingham, Birmingham is, you know, it's an industrial town. Yeah, it is. That's where the, the industrial revolution started. Exactly. And, um, exactly. But particularly Aston, we all grew up in near factories and stuff. In the factories, yeah. Exactly. And we thought. Um, that was a future that we, you know, not, the way to get out of it is to write yeah, our own yeah, music yeah. and reflect the background that we come from. Exactly. And the one thing I've always appreciated you too is that you're kind of like the low key member of the band, you know, and I know you write a lot of the music, which to me personally, I really appreciate, you know, it's just because I know you're kind of the backbone of Black Sabbath, let's be honest. With you. I mean, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I think. Yeah. My, came from the rhythm section, me and Bill. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Of course, Tony's like the, the ultimate Sabbath man. Yeah. Without him, there wouldn't have been any Sabbath. So, oh, exactly. uh, yeah. And what, uh, before Sabbath, what were you in before Sabbath? What, what band, what was your band right before? A, a local br local band called the Rare Breed. Me, me and Ozzy were in this local band. And uh, okay. we wanted to, like, make, we, me and Ozzy were the only ones that didn't have jobs. Yeah. And the rest, the rest of the the, the other right, right, guys right, right. had had to go to work from nine to five every day. Right, right, right. So me and Ozzy thought, let's forget them. Well, both you guys haven't had a real job for yeah. a long since 1969. So. Yeah. And uh, we both left that, both left the rare breed. And Ozzy says, I know a guy called Tony Iommi, and he's just, yeah, I, I know of him, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> And we went round to Tony's house, asked him if he'd be interested in joining the band, and we went from there. Wow. Well, I, I really appreciate the interview, man. I, I really honestly came just for you tonight. And uh, I love you, man, and, and have a good night, man. And, thanks uh, very much. Thank God. Great night for your wife, by the way, too. Right. Thanks very uh, much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. 